How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews. Back with yet another review. A little bit of IPA time. A little bit of main IPA time in a form of some brewings apostrophe IPA. Hmm. Uh, yeah. i uh, never had anything from these guys before. Um, but the owner of the company I work for, super cool dude, um, went up to Maine to visit friends about a week and a half, two weeks ago. And uh, he came back. Mm hmm. You know, I had a couple conversations, and then one day he was like, wait a minute. He's like, I have some beer for you. He drops this on me, and here we are today. How about that? Uh, so thank you very much, Alan. Um, yeah, as far as what it says on this can, it says, uh, brewed and canned by some brewing company, York, Maine. Um, it's their apostrophe IPA in India Pale Ale, featuring mosaic hops, 6% alcohol by volume. No date on the bottom. And on uh, the back here we have story time in a good way. Apostrophe IPA began as an experiment with just mosaic hops. As it won't won our hearts, we continued to experiment to bring in old friends like Magnum Hops and Flaked Oats. What you have now is this favorite version showcasing the tropical citrusy mosaic magic and solid malt backbone. We hope you enjoy. That's some brewing company. We brew beers for everyone. And they go on to talk about themselves. So how do we do it? We say some. I don't know what that means. Anyway, uh, label is cool. You know, it's pine trees and some lottery. It, it, it reminds me of, a, of another label I can't put my fingers on. So, I don't hate it. I don't love it. Somewhere in between. Before we're going to drink it. So, let's see what we have here. Give it this huge, tall pour. Hopefully, we don't get too much of a head on there. I'm trying my best. Anyway, uh, yeah, man, that's got that haze. Uh, two and a half fingers, infinite creaminess, super tight, compact bubbles throughout. She's got a subtle haze to her, not even a subtle haze, a decent haze to her. A bit darker than what you'd expect from a New England style IPA, but they actually talk about it having a decent small backbone. So, you, you know, the little bit darker uh, browns with hint of orange to it, uh, or reverse that orange with hints of brown to it, um, make kind of sense. Um, you can glean a little bit of light through it. Not sure if you can catch my finger, but yeah, she looks the part. Let's say that. Let's see if we can get a nose on her. That smells good. That's definitely like a stone fruit. I actually haven't talked about stone fruit in a while because I feel like a lot of the IPAs have gotten have kind of missed that. I'm getting a ton of it here, a heaping helping of uh, peaches and kind of tangeriness. Uh, with a bit of kind of regular citrus, like a, just a regular orange, but it's not overly candy. It's very kind of uh, semi-juicy. <sighs> nice sweetness to it, and there's a little bit of that green kind of weedy kind of dankness in there. So this is covering all the bases of stuff that usually turns this motherfucker on. Yeah, yeah. Just nice nice to get a big punch of that stone for it. I haven't had that in a bit. I kind of felt like I was being a little bit weird. Be like, maybe it's just me. Maybe something changed in my nose or in my taste. No. Because there it is. That smells absolutely fantastic. So, yeah. She looks the part. She definitely smells the part. Let's see what she tastes like. Cheers. Okay. Not nearly as juicy as you would expect based off of the nose. But in the mouth, you're getting, you are getting that. But it's, it comes off more rindy, more bittering um, than sweet. Which is kind of a nice change of pace, but at the same time, I like a little bit of more sweetness to it. Yeah, so all that stone fruit becomes kind of like non on the pittiness or that citrus. Or that nectarine or the tangerine is kind of like a skinny thing kind of going on now. Almost like a, with the citrus, like a pithy, slightly pithy thing. Nothing too crazy. Um, the bittering, that weed bittering in there is still there, but it's just as small as it was on the nose. Barely there. I thought it was going to be a little bit bigger in the mouth based off of the nose. Usually when you get that hint kind of going into it, it kind of bursts out and kind of grabs you. It's not there, but it's still nice. Mouth feels nice. Not super crazy. Stick a spoon in it. Thick kind of haze. But at the same time, has a nice mouthfeel to it doesn't taste like anything negative, like a kind of like adjuncty negative or overtly kind of dry for me. It's a subtle dry kind of New England style, European kind of English style yeast going on, but nothing too crazy. Okay. 
She's tasty. A bump of sweetness would have done this for me, though. It's a bump, and I don't like my IPAs to skew super sweet. I'm actually not a big fan of it. I just feel like this one's just a, just a hair below the sweetness I prefer. And that's what I mean, what I prefer, not what everybody else prefers. Uh, yeah, really tasty beer. Kind of surprising. Um, the owner of my company is not the biggest beer guy in the world. He likes to dabble in beer here and there. Um, but it's nice, actually, for him to drop this on me. Um, it is a pleasant surprise, let's put it that way. Um, so let's talk about it. Is it one of the better IPs I've had as of late? No. Um, personally, I've had so many fantastic ones that blow me away. It, this one is kind of on the outside looking in it, in from that. But no way should that diminish this beer. It's a really tasty beer. Um, it's something I would absolutely not turn away. Like if I took a trip up the main, um, and I was out in, off the beaten path away from Portland and stuff like that, and I was kind of like popping around some bars and stuff like that, or I'd pop past a brewery and I went, oh, okay, there's some brewing, let's pop in there. I definitely want to try more from these guys. I have one more can, but at the same time, this beer is pretty damn tasty. I'd love to try it fresh. I have no idea how old it is. There's no dating on the can. Don't know if it sat on the shelf for five months. Don't know if it sat in my owner's trunk for about two weeks, but... I don't think so. But yeah, really tasty beer. Uh, valued availability, no idea. Again, it was bought for me, so someone out there, let me know. And uh, I assume it's kind of something readily available. Again, not a huge beer guy, so something you probably be able to pick up if he procured it and just say if you like what we like this. Hmm. It reminds me of a beer, but I can't put my finger on it. If you like New England style IPAs, but you don't want them to be nearly as sweet, and you like the fruit to be more of a rindy pithiness, even though there is a bit of kind of juice like flavor to it, if you like stuff to not skew as sweet, you like it to be a little bit more bitter and be drinkable because it's infinitely drinkable, it's definitely worth picking up because it's tasty, drinkable, and does not suck. So there we go. Another review in the books. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Well, if you did, didn't, anywhere in between, down there, words and stuff. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped, Massive Beers, all four of those places if you want to check this guy out anywhere else. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice apostrophe beer right now. And we'll see you next time. Cheers.